to be the first to welcome you to Dallas, where it's currently 2.10 p.m. Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I just got off my flight from Miami and today we're headed to Bozeman, Montana, which is Yellowstone. It's on an American Airlines 737-800 and we have to go to gate B5, so let's head over there now. We have a three hour layover here, so we're probably just gonna go get lunch quickly, but we have to head over to Concourse B, so maybe we'll eat in like A or something. We got a lot of time. Anyway, here's a newly renovated part of Concourse C. It's absolutely amazing. DFW did an amazing job with this. This right here is the older part of Concourse C. As you can see, it, it's much older, much more dated. It's not as bad as it was probably four or five years ago, though. Back then, it was like tiled floor, very dirty. So, Concourse C has definitely improved in the past few years. It looks great. Looks like we're having Mexican for lunch today. Right here in Concourse A. All right, so here we have some tortilla chips and salsa. All right, let's see how it is. It's good, very spicy. And here we have some chicken tacos, refried beans, rice, guac, pico. Looks pretty good for an airport. All right, we just finished lunch at Papacitos in Concourse A. Right now we're by A28, but we have to go to B5, so we have to take the Skylink again. Let's go.
and right here is our gate for today, B5. As it says up on the screaming board in 39 minutes. Right out here is our aircraft for today, November 868, November, November. 13 year old 737 800, serial number 40763. Just came in a few minutes ago from Kalispell Glacier Park. Terminal B at Dallas Fort Worth is one of the lesser known concourses and terminals. And I can kind of see why. This place is very dated. It's at least a new concourse I've been to here at DFW, but it, it's very small, crammed, old. It needs a renovation for sure. Alright, so we got to our gate a few minutes early, and since we're right by Concourse D and a lot of the international flights go out of there, how about we go check it out? Let's go. And welcome to the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport Concourse D. This is the international terminal. They have Qantas, uh, I believe Singapore Airlines. Lufthansa, British Airways, Air France, all of these airlines service Dallas-Fort Worth. And there are also some domestic flights too. This flight over here is headed over to El Paso. And there are a few more. I think there's one to Little Rock, a bit further down. But this is by far the nicest terminal I've been to at DFW, as of what I've seen so far. This American Airlines 777, beast of a plane, it's huge, a D-36 going over to Paris, France, Charles de Gaulle. And this 737-800 is headed over to West Palm Beach. This right here is the main part of Concourse D. There's an Italian restaurant, a Univision, McDonald's, Duty Free, anything you would need for your international flight they have here. This boarding area at D33 is headed over to Madrid in Spain, Madrid Barajas Airport. It's a triple seven going to Madrid. This is like the central part of Terminal D at Dallas Fort Worth. You have the Skylink right up there. You have Starbucks, barbecue place, a lot of things you can choose from over here. Down there is a ton more gates for a Concourse D. And right out here, this American Airlines 777-300, which is their flagship aircraft, is headed over to London Heathrow, London, England. Hello, governor. And out here, this American Airlines 787-8 is headed over to Shanghai, China later on. All right, and after a bit of plane spotting in Concourse D, let's head back to gate B5 to board our flight to Bozeman. And here we are back at our gate, B5. Alright, we're boarding now for Bozeman. Today we're on American Airlines flight 2522. Alright, so the gate agent just announced that we're going to be a bit delayed because our crew's coming from another terminal. Alright, we're boarding now for Bozeman. And welcome aboard the American Airlines 737-800. Today we're in seat 20F. Here we are. Welcome aboard this, this American Airlines 737-800. It's our ride to Bozeman today. Place your bag in wheels port. first, then turn it on An its side to maximize the space available. Card. Small lightweight items uh, may be placed in the seat like it's bumpy. Let's put it that way. If you need assistance, the device please let us here know. For your tablet or iPhone. Free entertainment is available on today's Dream flight. Table. Stream it's Apple sturdy. Music for free in flight by seat connecting to pocket. our Wi-Fi. To access millions of songs, Just thousands of right playlists, here. 
original content from your favorite artists, and, and more. You can also stream right our here. library of free right movies here. and TV shows on your today. phone, tablet, The good thing about this aircraft is that there's a USB port here and also down here is a charging outlet. This right here is our wing view for today. The legroom on this aircraft is great. Display small carry-on items underneath the seat in front of you. Larger carry-on items should be placed in the overhead compartment. With service to Bozeman, Montana. Please place small carry on items underneath the seat in front of you. Larger carry on items should go in the overhead compartment. This aircraft has new larger overhead compartments. Place your bags in wheels first, then turn it on its narrow side to help maximize the space available. Legroom on this aircraft is great. I have a ton of space. Welcome aboard American Airlines Flight 2522 to Bozeman. Your flight crew for this flight is Captain E.T. Anderson and First Officer Ronald Hemphill. From Dallas to Bozeman, our flying time will be 2 hours and 42 minutes at an altitude of 36,000 feet. Bozeman weather conditions are clear with a temperature of 91 degrees Fahrenheit and 33 degrees Celsius. Your safety and well-being are important to us. Please pause for a moment to give your attention to the flight attendants. Your attention, please. Welcome to your American Airlines flight on its way to one of our many destinations across the globe. Made possible by our dedicated team members who all do it for one reason. You. That's why your safety and well-being are so important to us. Let's go through some in-flight instructions so we can get you safely on your way. If you haven't already fastened your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. All flights are non-smoking, including e-cigarettes, vape devices, and smokeless tobacco. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, four window exits over the wings, and two exit doors in the back. If needed, exit path lighting in the aisle will illuminate near the floor to guide you to an exit, indicated by signs and lights. Life vests are located under, next to, or between your seat. For help locating them, see your safety card. We will be dimming the cabin lights for takeoff. Individual reading light controls are at each seat. It's our honor to care for you on your journey. If you have any questions, please refer to your safety card or ask any of the crew members as they do their final cabin check. And as always, let us know if there's anything we can do to make your time with us more enjoyable. Thank you for watching our safety demonstration. As a reminder, federal regulations prohibit smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes and vaping devices at any time on board the aircraft. Please avoid. And we're pushing back now to Dallas-Fort Worth. Ladies and gentlemen, we know it's hot in the cabin. We agree. So if you guys don't mind, lower your window shades for a few minutes until we get off the ground and open those air vents. We called the cabin already, captain already and asked him to pull it down. But that's going to be the best we can do until we get in the air. And then I promise we'll you guys get want this one open? better regulated. But that will really help. Thank you so much. Except for at my exit row. You all cannot shut your window shades. Thank you.
your settings menu or select AA in flight. Then it's going to take you to a website. You're going to open aainflight.com. And here we are with our flight information. As you can see, American Airlines flight 2522, Dallas Fort Worth to Bozeman. There are free entertainment options here. Check that out. Okay, we have a lot actually. Um, we have live TV right here, Inside Edition, Jeopardy, Baseball, NFL, uh, Paris Olympics, movie options here, a ton of options as you can see. Series, 90 Day Fiance, one of my favorites. Big Bang Theory, a lot of stuff. Lifestyle, so a lot of like self-reflection, meditation, all that. A lot of calming. Kid stuff here, as you can see. Music, a lot of options. And if you get the Wi-Fi, you can also access your own stuff like Spotify, YouTube, whatever you want. Hear podcasts and audiobooks. And that's it for that. So let's go back to the main page. And let's check out Wi-Fi. Oh, before that, here's the weather in Bozeman. There are some thunderstorms, as you can see, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, one hour is $12.00. Flight pass, fifteen dollars. Uh, on my flight before from Miami, I was able to get twenty minutes of free Wi-Fi. I don't think it's available on this flight, which is okay. So I guess I'll get the fifteen dollar package. All right. So we just purchased Wi-Fi. Now let's do a speed test. It starts off a bit slow, but then it gets really fast. So this Wi-Fi is great for a flight this long and even longer than this. And we just reached our cruising altitude of 36,000 feet over Oklahoma. We have two hours and seven minutes left to Bozeman. As you can see, flight attendants are not beginning their in-flight service. And flight attendants just did the beverage service. And today I'm going to show you how to make travel to the So we got a can of cup soda. Half a cup is good. turbulence over central Wyoming, but we should be beginning our descent soon into Bozeman. There's a lot of bad weather over Yellowstone, which is where we're actually going to fly over on the way into the Bozeman airport. So enjoy the rest of the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks again. We are scheduled to arrive at gate B1, that's Bravo 1. Is your final destination to be reclaimed? Yellowstone National Park and we're beginning our initial descent into Bozeman. It's now time for the Travel Man Rates Flight Edition. The factors for this rating are the seat, the food, the in-flight entertainment, and the service. First, the seat. The flight I took before from Miami to Dallas-Fort Worth had a great seat. That flight was also on a 737-800. So with that said, I had very high expectations for this flight. And luckily, those expectations were indeed met. The seat was very comfortable and featured an adjustable headrest, two windows, a device holder, and amazing legroom. 
I would have no problem being in the seat for an even longer flight. Five out of five for the seat. Next, the food. Usually American snack services are quite lackluster and never feature anything nice. And while there was nothing special on this flight, the quality of the items served was fantastic. The Biscoff was delicate and sweet as it always should be, and the drink selection was nothing but perfect. 5 out of 5 for the food. Next, the in-flight entertainment. The seatback IFE that American used to feature was great, but unfortunately that has been removed from all of their narrow-body aircraft except for the transcontinental A321. But now we have a seatback device holder and American's complimentary IFE system. And luckily, the system has always worked well and features so many great selections for entertainment. Additionally, the Wi-Fi available for purchase, while expensive, has always been fast and mostly reliable. 5 out of 5 for the IFE. Finally, the service. The crew on this flight was fantastic, probably the best that I've ever had on American. They never broke their smile and kept talking and engaging with the passengers, which is something that's quite rare these days. They were really enthusiastic and were willing to help with anything we needed. This crew was Philadelphia based, so they were overnighting in Bozeman. And fast forward about an hour after we left the Bozeman airport, and we saw the crew at a restaurant in the city. And the crazy part's that they recognized us, so we went over to their table to talk a bit more, and we really got to know them more than we did on the flight. And I truly hope to have this crew again, or at least one of this caliber, on my future American Airlines flights because they gave me a lot more hope for this airline, a lot of which that I lost last summer. This crew deserves a 5 out of 5. So, with all that said, American Airlines 737-800 service from Dallas-Fort Worth to Bozeman earns a perfect 20 out of 20. Great job, American. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Here are our last views of the aircraft for today. Everybody, 
Welcome to the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport, gate B1. As you can see, it's empty because the aircraft is leaving tomorrow morning. We were the last American Airlines flight into Bozeman today. I honestly like the rustic look because you're going to Yellowstone, it's a park, you kind of get that park feeling once you walk in, it's very nice. Alright everybody, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow morning our plane will be headed right back to Dallas-Fort Worth. Thank you guys so much for watching, please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Before I end the video, I just want to point something out here. Usually at airports like Dallas-Fort Worth, for example, where we came from, all these noises from the planes are happening and it's very loud. Just listen to how quiet this place is. It's insane. No noise at an airport. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.